Hello there, my name's Eddie and this is my baptism story. I was always brought up in a Christian home with great parents and a great family life and we always went to church, uh, we always prayed together. I always knew a lot about God and I always knew that he had a plan for my life. Uh, I knew that he loved me, I knew that he cared for me, but there was part of me that just wasn't that interested. I, I knew that um, about my parents' faith and I knew how much God meant to them. Uh, but I hadn't yet found it for myself and during my teenage years at, at school I, I, was, I was blessed if you call it that with, with popularity and people liked me and I, I had the image of the class clown and I used to play up to that and act up to it. Uh, I was also in the football team uh, throughout school and outside of school and therefore there was a certain sort of characteristics that came with that and a persona of how you should act and I kind of got dragged along with that um, and this continued most of my teenage years and um, at the age of 19 I, I'd reached a place where I, I wasn't particularly happy with my way of life and the way I was doing things and I, I knew it, it wasn't all that God had in store for my life um, and I knew I had to do something about it and therefore on the uh, 12th of April uh, 2009 I got baptised. I, I remember um, the day of my baptism, Easter Sunday 2009 and I just remember thinking how significant that was that as Jesus had defeated the grave and rose up um, the same was just about to happen to me. I was gonna die to my, my old life and rise up again and I, I remember feeling uh, nervous, I remember feeling a bit sort of in anticipation of what was going to happen. I wasn't particularly looking forward to, to saying my testimony. Um, I remember wearing a, a yellow, a bright yellow t-shirt and a, a decent pair of shorts, you know, it's always good to look your best. Um, and I remember, uh, you know, stepping down into that pool. Uh, fortunately, it was, it was warm. And I had uh, Gary and Ben with me and, uh, you know, they just said, are you ready? I said, I'm ready and you know I went down and as we all know it came up different. When I did man up and be baptized it, it just it did change my life. I, I, I changed the way that I lived, I changed the way that I acted, I changed the way that I talked, I changed the way that I viewed people, I changed the way that I viewed myself. I saw how God loved me and how God had taken all my bad stuff and got rid of it and, and therefore given me a new life and when I went under I, I knew that none of it had to come back. Since being baptised it, it, it hasn't always uh, been you know a straightforward road that you come out of the water and then suddenly a, any temptation and uh, any sin is sort of out the question and you just um, a completely holy person. Uh, in fact, in some ways, challenges become uh, more frequent. And if if I hadn't have made the the, the choice to, to be baptized and change my life, I, I kind of wonder where I'd have gone. I, I remember being 19, that I suddenly seemed to get invited to a lot more parties and get a lot more peer pressure to, to do things and to come to things and a, a lot more sort of stick and people saying, oh, you've changed, you, you've changed, you, you're boring and and I kind of just had to take that in the chin and say yeah I'm, I may seem boring but it's it's because you just don't get it it's because there's something inside of me that just doesn't want what, doesn't want what you want and uh, doesn't need what you need and that all that was was Jesus. God has used me in ways that I could never have imagined. I've, I've had the privilege of uh, preaching to uh, young people and, and seeing them respond to the gospel of Jesus and I can tell you there's, there's no uh, greater joy than, than seeing that.